Hi, this is lesson 2-5, find distances on the coordinate plane. In this lesson, you should be able to use absolute value to find distance on a coordinate plane. You will also solve real world and mathematical problems involving distances um, on the coordinate plane. Let's look at solve and discuss it questions. Graph the points on the coordinate plane below. What picture do you make when you connect the points in order? We got a bunch of points over here. Name a pair of points that are the same distance from the x-axis. Explain your choice. Let's graph them first. Three comma three. We learned how to graph them in our last lesson. So that's one, two, three horizontally. So that's your x and y coordinate, x and y values, x and y values, right? So graph three comma three, zero comma zero, and that's called the origin. Negative four comma one, two, three, four, negative four, one, two, three, four, right? Negative nine comma zero, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If it's zero, that's your y equals zero. Three comma negative three, one, two, three. And three comma three, we have the same point right here. Name a pair of points that are the same distance from the x axis. Okay, we're looking at the same distance from the x-axis. We got three units, three units, that's zero. And what else? How many units is this? Five units, is that five? Oh, that's four. Four units and that's zero units as well. So we have negative nine comma zero and zero comma zero that are the same distance away. And also three comma threes and three comma negative threes. Yeah? So let's write that down. Zero comma zero and negative nine comma zero. Three comma three and three comma negative three. They're the same distances away. And you explain it. Well, you can notice that the y values are the opposite to each other. The x values do not have to be the same. But in order to have the same distance away from x axis, your y values have to be the same distance away. We're going to plot just one more point so that we figure out a picture. Do you see something? Hint, hint, shark. Okay, yes. Uh, what's another point that could point the reflection of this point? Negative four comma negative four across the x-axis. The same distance from the x-axis would be negative four comma four right here and if you connect the dots do you see anything you see a fish yeah so you can say the picture is a fish negative four comma four and negative four comma negative four are the same distance from the x-axis because the x-axis divides the fish in half. Right, the x-axis divides the fish in exactly half. Right, so you should be thinking about how you can use structure of the grid to find the pair of points that are the same distance from the x-axis. Let's look at the um, focus on math practices. 
How can you use the coordinate plane to find the total length of the picture of your graph? For example, you can explain that each grid line is one unit. So you can count grid lines in a horizontal line from the front of the picture to the end of the picture to find the horizontal distance, right? You can also find the total vertical distance by counting the vertical line. So let's write that down. Each grid line is one unit, so you can count grid lines in a horizontal line from the front of the picture to the end of the picture. So in this lesson, you're going to think about this question. How can you find the distance between two points on a coordinate plane? Let's look at example one. We're going to find vertical distance. We have a map here on a coordinate plane. Tammy draw a map of her neighborhood. How far is it from Lee's house to school using the coordinate grid? How can you use absolute values to find the distances? You've already learned that absolute values are distances away from zero and distances are always positive. So look at the distances. Tammy's house is the origin, zero comma zero. Store is negative one comma two, which is horizontally just one distance away from Tammy's house. And vertically, two distances, two units away from Tammy's house. And each grid line represents one mile, okay? So first, you're gonna find the coordinates of Lee's house. Where's Lee's house? Right here, right? So each grid line represents one unit. Which is which represents one mile. So Lee's house is going to be negative four comma one two three four negative four comma one two three negative three. So that's your coordinate point for Lee's house. The coordinate for the school because you want to find the distance between Lee's house to school. Coordinate point to school is negative four comma one two two. So what's the distance between Lee's house to school? You can either count the units, one, two, three, four, five, five units away vertically, right? Or you can subtract your Y values because your X values are the same. You just have a vertical distance, right? Two minus negative three is, e is equal to, two plus three, which is five. And that is why you have five units away, which is five miles away, because each unit represents one mile, okay? So let's try this question. What's the distance from the school to the playground? Explain how you use the absolute values to find the distance, okay? So first, you need to locate where the school is to the playground and the playground. We know where the school is. The playground is right here. What is the coordinate of the playground? One, two, three, four, negative four comma, one, two, three, four, five, right? And so looking at the coordinate point for school, you can see that um, the vertical distance would be uh, different, right? So two and five are the vertical distances away from zero. So you're gonna use, you can use absolute value to say, oh, the playground is five units away from uh, zero. And the school is also two units away, wait, yes, from zero. So you're gonna add, the distances, but you're gonna erase the dis you're gonna subtract the distances so that you can figure out the distance between them, right? Because they're both um, positive. So you have five minus two, which is three, and that is three miles. 
To find the distance from the school to the playground, do you add or subtract the absolute values of the y coordinates? If you look at example one, you added the, mm, the the distances of the absolute values, right? Why? Because this is positive and that's negative. And you need to add the distances. But here, school to playground, you have both positive. So this is the distance and that's the distance. So you have to think about what are these distances representing, right? If they're both positive or if they're both negative, they're on the same quadrant. So you have to subtract when they're on the same quadrant. Does that make sense? Let's write that down and remember it, okay? First, the school and the playground are in the same quadrant. Their y coordinates tell the distance from zero in the same direction. And that is why you subtract them. Okay, example two, we're gonna find horizontal distance. The culture family starts at their home and stops at a rest shop to eat lunch. How much farther do they need to drive to get to the water park? Use coordinates to find the distance. There's the rest stop right here, negative 25.75 common negative 40. Water park is negative 85.5 common negative 40. Those numbers are bigger than usual, right? But you can do it. So think about where they're at. They're on the same quadrant and we're looking at the horizontal distance because they're on the same level vertically, right? Um, notice that your y values are the same, negative 40. So your distance between water park and rest shop would be the horizontal distance in this case. So you're going to subtract your x values, right? The distance of water park to zero is this part. Rest stop, rest stop shoot to zero is this part, right? So in order to find the distance between them and they're on the same quadrant, you need to subtract their distances. So absolute value negative 85.5 minus absolute value negative 25.75 gives you the distance between the two which is 59.75 miles let's figure out what's the total distance of the culture's return trip after their day at the water park to their home right so from water park to culture's home what's the total distance they're in a different quadrant so you need to add this distance this distance one plus distance two from zero, right? You need to add them in this case. So negative 85.5 plus 65.5, both absolute values will be 85.5 plus 65.5, which is 151 miles, okay? So if they're in the same quadrant, you subtract the absolute values. If they're in different quadrants, you need to add the values. Let's look at example three. Solve problems using distance. Point B is on the y-axis, uh, is on the x-axis, and has the same x-coordinate as point A. Point C is graphed at negative two comma n. The distance from point A to point C is equal to the distance from point A to point B what's the value of n? So n is not given. Sometimes you're given a point, but you need to figure one value out. But they will give you the hint like this, right? Step one, you need to find the distance from point A to point C. The y coordinates should be the same, which means the um, negative two comma, the absolute value of negative two plus the absolute value of uh, five would be the distance. So two plus five is equal to seven units, right? So negative one, two, comma, n. You don't know what n is, but they're the, they have the same n, right? Because n is equal to n. Whatever your value is for n, that should be the same for both points, right? So that's negative two, comma, n. Step two, find the value of n. You have the distance, seven units, right? So then 
The order pair five comma zero describes the location of point B. Zero to N, you know that seven units, which means N is seven. So your point A is five comma seven really, and your point C is negative two comma seven. Okay, let's try this question. Point D is in quadrant four, IV is four, and it's the same distance from point B as point A. What are the coordinates of point D? Okay, if they have the same distance from point B to A, you know it's this much apart. And you know the vertical distance is what's N, that's seven, right? So if it's the same seven distance away, seven units away, but it's on quadrant four, quadrant four is the fourth quadrant over here, right? Where both X and Y values are negative. And what is this point? You have the same X values, which is positive five, but what's your um, negative, uh, what's your X value? Right, quadrant four has positive for X value and negative for Y value. So yes, five comma negative seven, because they have the same distance. So five comma negative seven would be your coordinates of point D. So let's summarize our lesson. You can use absolute value to find the distances between points on a coordinate plane, whether horizontal or vertical, okay? If they're on the same quadrant, you need to subtract the absolute values of their distances. If they're a different quadrant, you need to add the absolute value distances, okay? That was lesson 2.5, finding distances on a coordinate plane. Great job, guys. Bye.